Okay, guys, it is Sunday already. We are back here for another episode of Chatty, and I am so excited. Wait for everything to connect and to work. So happy to be back. Hi guys, so happy to have everyone on. Hello. Hola. What's going on? Yes, can you hear me? I'm yes, great. How you nice. doing? I'm just wonderful. Thank you so much for Thank asking. You. Let me skip back a little bit. I'm way too close to the camera. Um, so I am so excited to have you this evening. Have you ever done a live before? I have. I have. Okay. Yes. Good. So you're not new to this. So wonderful. I've had to learn through the process of starting this. I've had to figure out how it works. So um, we're well, super happy to have you. This is our first time officially meeting. So hey, but so, so excited. Guys, um, everyone that's getting on, welcome to our next episode of Chat E. I have my wonderful guest, Jay Woods, this evening. Um, would you like to introduce yourself and kind of like share with us a little bit about you? Uh, of course. So um, my name is Jay Javon. Um, I am a vitiligo model advocate. Um, pretty much what that is, I pretty much model and um, pretty much uphold and pretty much really, you know, anything vitiligo wise, I pretty much advocate and pretty much um, empower and educate anything on, on all of that type of stuff. So, yep. That is absolutely so cool. So, I think the way I'm even connected or like how I follow you on Instagram is are you friends with um, Mariah Perkins? Yes, yes, one of my best friends, yep. Okay, I meant to reach out to her today, too, beforehand, but her and I went to college together. All right. Hello, how are you? Hey. What's poppin'? Yeah, <laughs> yeah her friends. and I went to college together, so I think that's, like, how I even connected with you. Um, I think that you are so empowering, and I always, like, like all your pictures, and I think that um, when we talked about this and when I asked you what we would, you know, title the chat and talking about difference is beauty that's exactly right like you are strutting your stuff like you look you're handsome look great and just like being so empowering Thank and you. wonderful so your pictures are always so awesome and I've been following you for a while so like I said I'm so excited we could do this thank you appreciate it yes of course you're welcome okay so next question so what got you started in to um here actually I'm going to transition a little bit so do you want to explain to people if they're not really aware what vitiligo is, just so they have a little bit more of an understanding? Yeah, of course. So vitiligo pretty much is a skin pigmentation disease, pretty much. It's kind of like our cell. I can't hear you. I cut you out for a quick second. Can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. All right, so basically, like I was saying, it's basically a skin pigmentation disease. Basically, the cells in our body can't fight the, mm -hmm. the cells in our body that produce melanin in our skin. So it causes our skin to basically discolor and, you know, be a different color than, you know, what it normally would be. But um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't affect us. It doesn't, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't itch. It doesn't, it's not a burn or anything like that. It just basically, it just causes our skin to be di two different colors, basically. Right. And so is vitiligo something that you were born with or is it something that came on as you've gotten older? Um, I mean, it's, it's different for certain cases, but in my case, it's something that developed when, as a child. Um, mm -hmm. Some people are born with it. Some people develop it, you know, later in age, you know, as adults. But I actually developed it. I was about maybe 11 years old when I got mine. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. I know that it's different for everyone, but then sometimes people are born with it also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So um, you said you're a model. Um, and so what got you started in that field? Uh, so it's funny that you mentioned Mariah because she was actually a part of a part of my start. But um, basically, I used to be involved with music a lot. So um, that was basically my, my passion and my forte for a long time. Mm -hmm. So um, a couple modeling opportunities, you know, came across my door. And it's n I never really took it serious because I was so much involved with music. But um, then once I started transitioning into other things, you know, I was like, let me take this, you know, kind of seriously. So mm 
Yeah, um, one of a photographer had a certain concept he wanted to do with me, but I just needed another person that had better LIGO to participate with me. So that's mm -hmm. where Mariah came into hand. So I reached out to Mariah and I was like, "Hey, I got this, I got this dope idea. This photographer wants to work with us. You want to be in this uh, this uh, photo shoot with me?" And um, she was like, "Yeah, let's do it." So we did it. Uh and when we posted the pictures, they went viral. I'm talking about like millions and millions and millions of people start reposting and hashtagging that. That was two years ago, and I still been booked and busy to this day from that from that photo shoot. So that's that pretty so much cool. forgotten time. Yep. I okay. So how you already knew her though beforehand? You guys were already friends. You already knew each other. Yeah, we were friends way before like we start modeling together and stuff like that. That is so tough. That is so cool. Um, she was on like a TV show, too. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw the like documentary um, on my because when we went to school early on, like I think I met her my freshman year of college. She used to wear makeup over her vitiligo, and now yeah. she doesn't. It's so cool. I've watched her transition too, and like talking about it right. and being so empowering too. So it's so cool to watch that. She's so beautiful, and it's really amazing. But that's so cool. I've seen so many pictures of you guys, too. Like I said, always so empowering. Um, so next question. What motivates you to work your hardest every day in your field? Because I know it's definitely not something that's super easy. It's definitely not. But um, when I first started doing this, um, one thing that really, like, really stood out to me is how many kids – you know what I'm saying? And like younger people that like really look up to me. You know, I never, me growing up myself, I never really had someone with vitiligo, you know what I'm saying, to right. look up to or to look at on the screen or to, you know what I'm saying, to see modeling, you know what I'm saying? So like sure. just the people, the amount of people that I, that I, you know what I'm saying, that I touch or that I can reach out to, like it's, it's amazing. Like the people that write me, and you know what I'm saying, that tell me that like, you know what I'm saying, like because of your pictures, I don't wear makeup no more. You know what I'm saying? Or because of your pictures, like, I feel more comfortable wearing shorts or short sleeve shirts. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So, like, when I hear stuff like that, like, it, I got to keep doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to keep going. Like, I got to keep, you know what I'm saying, empowering myself and everyone else and telling, you know what I'm saying, letting people know that you could be as confident as I am. So that's that's that means the world to me, for real. That is truly so cool. And it's one of those things, too. It didn't happen overnight. But then right. like, as you've gotten older, I'm sure, you know, you've, your confidence has built, but now like you are giving people faith and you're just like encouraging them to be the best version of their self, themselves and to be confident. And that's so cool. Actually, yeah. like so, so cool because like we said, a lot of people wouldn't be comfortable doing that. Exactly. Had you ever done any like modeling or picture taking or anything like serious like that before you started a couple years ago or no? Nah, not not seriously. I mean, like, you know, people take iPhone pictures and think they right. models and stuff right. like that. But, like, seriously, like, photographer pictures, nah, not, nothing like that. I never did anything like that. That's so cool. There's this TikTok where it's like, okay, I saw it today, and it's like, smile, and then raise your eyebrows, and then close your mouth, and that's your model face. And this girl did it. <laughs> she was great, and I tried it. It was horrible. <laughs> it was not working in my Listen, face. listen, I tell people this is... It's not as easy as you think it is, but then at the same time, it's not as hard as you think it is either, trust me, so. It's a big confidence thing, though. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, but I think having people that, you know, are close in your circle and, you know, go through the same stuff, that's so cool that you, it seems like you, who? Are you there? No, I'm back, I'm back. Somebody called me. <laughs> okay, no worries. Um, it seems like you've built, like, quite a community, which is so cool. Right. So that's super wonderful. Um, so do you still, are you still involved with making music or do you still make music also? Uh, not really. I mean, I still have a lot of friends that are still involved with that. Like I got a couple of friends that still are in bands and stuff like that. So I kind of helped out with them on a, on a couple of projects that they had. So, I mean, I still help out with certain things, but that's about the biggest involvement that I had. But me personally, I don't really have too much involvement in it personally like that. Okay, were you more into the instrumental stuff, or are you, like, the one writing the music and, like, the vocals and stuff? I was more behind the scenes, like, management type stuff, like, um... Okay, cool. 
yeah, like taking care of pretty much everything behind it. Anything an artist needed, like I pretty much was that person that you reached out to pretty much. Okay, you've got a lot of, how, how old are you, Jay? Do you mind me asking? I'm 33. Okay. Awesome. You, it sounds like you've done a lot of very cool things. So yes, I mean, yes, yes. I, I was just telling someone I got a, I got a full life. Like I didn't done everything. So that's so cool. I was definitely guess. Yeah, that's so so cool. Um, and that's the thing too is like each accomplishment. It's all like stepping stones to get you to like your ultimate goal and like where you want to be. So sounds like a lot of exciting stuff has happened for you. Exactly. <laughs> I got a couple stories. Ready for the stories. <laughs> Um, so with all that you're working, which one do I want to go to first? Okay. So do you have any big projects or anything in specific that during quarantine that you've been working on, maybe something that's going to be out sometime soon, or just like where during quarantine, where has your mind been at? What have you been doing? Um, I got a couple projects coming up. Um, I actually, you mentioned a TV show, um, with Mariah, me and Mariah have some type of like TV show documentary coming up, um, that we might oh, be putting okay. together. Yeah. Um, a TV company reached out to us. Um, what? Not, yeah. Not too long ago. So we may be putting that together pretty soon. Um, you should be getting the details for that. You understand um, that's like super cool, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, that's going to be super cool. I was actually with her like two weeks ago, like last weekend we were talking about it. So so we should be f figuring out the details for that pretty soon. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, that and um, uh, someone reached out to me to be in like a music video pretty soon. So that I should be getting some details for that pretty soon. Mm. And um, yeah, then just a couple more photo shoots coming up. I got scheduled coming up. Um, just trying to fill up uh, September. And um, that's it, really. And just trying to, you know, keep doing my vitiligo stuff. I want to add mental health onto the plate, you know what I'm saying, as far as advocacy. Because, um, you know, going through this time, this quarantine, a lot of people have been going through those type of issues like mental health. And I don't feel like a lot of people really take that seriously and stuff like that. So I want to really push that. And also voting. Everyone, I want everyone to get out here and vote, like, like to really change what's going on in the world today. We really got to vote too. So I want to like really push that. Like, if oh, yeah, everyone yeah. wants to like, you know, want things to be different, we definitely got to vote. Like, we got to get out here and vote and get us a new president and like really push for that too. So, those oh, yeah. are really main focuses right now, man. But honestly, those are really such great focuses, especially for life in the world right now because there's so much uncertainty and like you said the mental health like they're not reporting on a lot of this stuff but there's a lot of things that are happening recently that are not good because everyone's cooped up still exactly people going crazy people are going that's crazy seriously no i know it's horrible so i think that's wonderful and yes everybody everybody needs to vote we all need to make this change we're ready get together and we're so ready for it um what are your goals for your future so like we said, you're up to all kinds of stuff, super young, and have so much time. So I guess, where do you see yourself in a couple of years? Or what is your end goal with what you're doing and where you want to be? Um, really, I mean, really, in a couple of years, I just want to be bigger and better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to be on a bigger platform. I just want to be reaching more people. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to um you know talk more speak more to more people around the world um you know motivational speaking is definitely something i want to get into also um you know what i'm saying just telling my story you know what i mean like i feel like if my story can help somebody you know live a better life or even not even a better life just have a better day you know what i mean mm -hmm. like that's i feel like I've, I've done what i was supposed to do you know what i'm saying so just being bigger and better you know what i'm saying it's, it's always ways to improve yourself so just improving and always every single day always you know of course you know always so that's really where i see myself in a couple of years man just just bigger and better than where i'm at right now that's all that's so cool that's amazing yeah um yeah and striving to be better every single day and i think i i don't know i think most people deal with this but you know it gets really discouraging when you have these goals for yourself and sometimes they're just like not on your timeline like the same, the amount of time that you set for yourself. And so just striving to be better every day will right. allow you to get there. It just might take longer than you expected. 
So can you hear me? It's like exactly. glitchy a little bit. It's lagging a slight bit. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, okay, so you said that when yeah, you were... You. Oh, you can? It's like going mm -hmm. in and out. Um, you said that your vitiligo came on when you were 11. So as someone who is such a voice and is so empowering and motivating towards other people who um, have vitiligo or people that are even just interested in learning about it and what it is, you know, because they may have seen someone or have a friend who has and they don't completely understand. Um, did you, was that something when it was like early onset that was a big challenge for you? Like how long did it take you to really be confident with this, you know? Um, it was definitely a challenge, you know, a struggle. Um, you know, growing up, my childhood was definitely, you know, a struggle, you know. You hear every name in the book, you know what I'm saying, from kids. You know, kids could be very you know, very, very mean, you know what I'm saying? So probably I would say in my adult ages, maybe when I got about 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? I started to really, you know, become confident and, you know, started to look at myself, you know what I'm saying? Look, you know, past my skin, you know what I'm saying? Like to see, you know what I'm saying? I had to offer so many other things, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of looked past that, you know what I'm saying? So I started to I started to look in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? I started to smile every day, you know what I'm saying, instead of frown, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of built it into my head that, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, I don't, it's it's not, it's nothing wrong with not looking like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? So I just took it and ran with it, and, you know, here I am today. Oh, absolutely. Like you said, difference is beauty, and it makes you who you are and, like, makes you stronger as a person and allows you to, under I feel like, when um, everyone has different things that they deal with, but it allows you to just get like a better view of life and like people and just like you're more accepting and you know, just because you've had your stuff that you've been through and then it just makes you a stronger person. Mm -hmm. that's, so, that's awesome. Um, another question. So when stuff gets hard because you know being in this kind of field in the field that you're in like modeling and different things or when you were working at music it can be challenging you know um what keeps you super motivated when stuff when it seems like it's not going your way like what keeps you motivated to want to continue you said what motivates me when stuff is going hard mm-hmm um, well, I mean, me personally, the type of person that I am in general, like, I always know it's going to be some type of speed bumps, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of plan for those speed bumps and how to get around them. So that's just me in general. But, um, I mean, like, I just try to stay motivated just as much as I possibly can. Like, I just try to see the end goal, you know, that's always the end process. The end goal always keeps me motivated, you know, just looking at the end of the road, looking at the end of the tunnel, looking at the end process. So long as I can see that, you know, as long as I know I can get there, then that's, that's all I got to do is keep it going. For sure. And then, like you were saying, how you have all of these people who have reached out to you and see what you're doing, and you inspire them. And mm -hmm. so I feel like that's probably such an extra push. Yeah. That's really so cool. And that people are, like, seeing you. When would the documentary and such that you're working on be coming out? Now that I I'm not sure yet. Probably sometime next year. I know I know it won't be coming out this year anytime soon. Because you haven't started making it yet. Right. We haven't started making it. That that process will probably start this year sometime and then editing and everything else. So probably sometime I would say maybe second quarter next year, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. That'll probably be out. But um okay. yeah, it's super exciting. I can't wait to really get that started. That's so fun. Um please keep me in the loop and everyone um when we're finished i'm going to put your instagram and all of your information if there's anything you want to share under our chat so that people can go and follow you check you out you might get some messages um but definitely keep us in the loop for when that happens in the future because i'm really most excited definitely. most definitely i definitely will you'll be the first one to know trust me okay i'm gonna hold you to it <laughs> i'm gonna hold you to it <laughs> um so do you have any tips or anything that 
you want to give people the, my whole intent behind doing chat e and like doing this at all is to showcase people who are doing well in their field who are successful who are confident who are striving to be the best version of themselves because like we said mental health right now and life is getting in the way people are not they're giving up on themselves and on their dreams because there's so much uncertainty no one has control so right. like i've said multiple times this evening and you know this you are inspiring you are teaching people and helping people every day to be the best version of themselves because that's all we got and we have to be our own biggest fan and so do you have any tips to encourage to motivate um people to keep doing what they love whether it be modeling and music whether it be art whether it be writing a book i don't know whether it be running who knows but <laughs> do you have any tips I mean, my biggest tip is to never let nobody tell you you can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's, that's what you want to do, then that's what you can go out there and do. Like, don't ever let nobody tell you you can't be this, you can't do this, you can't. Don't ever tell, don't ever let no one tell you you can't. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, you know, like that's that's my biggest tip to anyone. Like, if that's something you want to do, find out how to do a research. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you got to do and make it happen like don't make no excuses just make it happen just that's make my biggest it happen. tip yep. yes and then you are a prime example of when that's... you don't give up on yourself what you can do what exactly can happen exactly that's so cool have you um have you gotten to travel or do you travel often when it's not coronavirus well, yeah, um, I've traveled everywhere for photo shoots, L.A., um, Atlanta, New York. New York was really, was really like a main spot that I always was at. Um, I was there maybe like every weekend for maybe like four months. Are you not from New York or you are? I'm not. I'm from D.C. originally. Okay, because when, that's when I texted you before this. I was like, I hope we're on the same time zone. I thought it said New York, so I was like, I hope we're on the same time zone just to make sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, but um, I'm originally from D.C., but um, yeah, I've been all over as far as, like, photo shoots, Texas, Florida. I've been everywhere. All the big cities? Yeah, all the big ones. That's so cool. Very, very fun. And do you hope to kind of, like, take, I think you said this earlier, but do you hope to kind of take what you're doing, maybe you go internationally at some point? Yeah, I've had I've had people reach out to me internationally for certain things, Um it's just whatever the reason they've been held up and I just haven't been able to get over there. But I definitely, um, I have a, I have, I actually have a friend in Amsterdam. Um, I want to link up with him. Um, he has it like, uh, me and him are like best friends, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I got to get over, I got to get over there and see him, you know what I'm saying? And link up with him. So it's definitely work over, over, over there for me to do. So I just got to actually get over there. No, I know. Absolutely. When we're allowed back in the, um, in the continent. <laughs> exactly. Okay. When, when everything goes back to normal, right? Not, yeah, now wouldn't be the time to go. But yeah, definitely. And I think that's so cool because Vitiligo impacts people all over the world. Exactly. So I think you will do such great things. I know you will. This is literally so wonderful. I really, um, all I knew about you was from your pictures. So this is also a really fun time for me to get to know you and learn about you too. Oh. So, so I'm an cool. open book, so. Well, I love it. Do you have any, before we finish up, do you have any crazy cool stories you can share? You can say anything about like some super cool trip you got to take with your job or like something crazy cool or something that wasn't good. I don't know. Uh, if not, that's okay too. Just if there's anything. I would probably say out of all the places I've been to, the best place was South Korea. Oh, so you already have gone international. Yes, um, oh, okay. but that was that was a while ago. But that was that was probably the best place I've been in the nicely. I probably I probably it'd be inappropriate to share any stories, but um, I definitely had a great time. I can definitely say that it was probably the best time of my life. But um, yeah, it was it was crazy. That was that was the best time ever. That's so cool. And you got to go with for the photo shoot. Yeah, I had a photo shoot over there. Yep. So sick. Okay, well, that's very impressive. Very, very cool. Well, um, I want to thank you so much for talking with me. Um, and just for answering these questions. Like I said, I know you're such an inspiration, and have a lot of amazing things going on. And it's clear that so many doors are opening up for you, but they're just gonna continue to do that. So I'm so excited to see you flourish and see what happens. 
Thank you. I of appreciate course. you so much. Yes, you're so welcome. Is there anything in specific um, that you would like me to place um, underneath the chat? Uh, I mean, nothing really. You can just put my Instagram name um, at jjuvan, J-A-Y underscore J-O-V-A-N, you know, and uh, that's about it. Okay, I will do that. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful night, and thank you so, so much. You too, and I thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome. Of course. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks, babe.